So MIDI overdub recording is just a quick and easy way to be able to record a clip in Ableton and then record notes over the MIDI notes that you recorded uh, while keeping the work that you previously did intact. Um, so this is really useful if you find that uh, you want to play one part of a clip and then just uh, overdub another part of that performance on top of it. So really in order to enable overdub recording, all you need to do is make sure that you've got the OVR or overdub button enabled right here in the transport next to the record button. Uh, if you do that, you'll also notice that under options, MIDI overdub will have a check mark next to it. So as long as that is turned on, that means that your overdub recording is also turned on and uh, you'll be set to go. Now, at this point, uh, if I start recording a clip, uh, just using my MIDI keyboard here, I'm gonna record some MIDI notes. And so now you can see I've recorded these MIDI notes right here. But if I want to add on to these, all I've got to do is make sure that my track is record enabled and of course that I have OVR uh, overdub recording clicked on right here. Then if I hit play on that clip, I can just record more MIDI notes on top of it. And so you'll notice I've added a few extra notes right here on top of the ones that I had previously recorded. Now, if I'm working in the arrangement view uh, in Ableton right here, uh, the rules are pretty much the same. Uh, the most important thing here, though, is that I need to have record enabled in my transport. So if I want to be able to do MIDI overdub recording in the arrangement view right here, I need to have record enabled on the track that I am uh, working with and then I need to have record enabled in my transport. After that, I can hit play and I can start recording MIDI notes. And now if I want to go back and add some new parts to those same tracks, all I've got to do is of course select the location that I want to start recording with. I'll just start from one right here and hit record, make sure that's enabled, hit play again, and as long as this track is record enabled, I'll be able to do some MIDI overdub recording. And that's it. So that's pretty much how MIDI overdub recording works. Again, it's really useful, uh, especially if you find that you can get one part of a performance locked down fine, uh, but you just can't get the other part recorded at the same time. Just play that one piece and then go back and do some MIDI overdub and record the other part of your performance and you're good to go. I hope this has been useful to you guys and I'll see you next tutorial.